In this question, we are asked to use the graph method to estimate the modal age of the workers, whose um, statistics of age and the number of workers were given in the table as shown. So, what well, this is telling us that we should actually get to draw our histogram and from the histogram estimate the mode because the histogram is what we normally use to get the mode and in this case we are getting the modal age of the workers. So if we tabulate the information that we are giving, we need to get the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary. We subtract 0 0.5 from the lower class boundary and add 0 0.5 to the upper class boundary so that in this case we have 19.5 to 24.5 as our class boundary, okay? The first entry is the lower class boundary. Indicate the second entry is the upper class boundary. So we do that for each um, for each data that is indicating the age of the worker. So here we have 39.5 to 44.5, okay? Then 44.5 to 49.5. Then 49.5 to 54.5, and finally 54.5 to 59.5. So we are going to plot um, the histogram by making use of the class boundary against the number of workers that we are given. So here we are bringing in our graph, and we are noting that on the class boundary we are having. 19.5 to 59.5 as the data that we need to put on the class boundary as this. And then for the workers, we are noticing that 12 is the least, while 38 is the highest number of workers when we group them by each. So we have 12 to 38 on the number of workers as this, which we also correspond to something like, say, our frequency. Now, I'm noting this because I want to scale appropriately. When we are working with questions like this, it's not necessarily, it's not a compulsory, it's not by compulsion that we should actually start from zero. We can actually, for the best fit of our graph, it's best that we look at a point the way we can start, not necessarily with zero. So, if I draw my horizontal and my vertical axis, and for the histogram, normally on the vertical as is we have the frequency but in this case is the number of workers okay and then on the horizontal as is we have the class boundary and our class boundary we have defined already from our table and the class boundary is in years okay so is that now how best can we actually put in this data starting from 20.5 to 59.5 on the class boundary as is and then we notice that if we say we are not starting from zero, we notch our graph as shown. Then we put in the first entry, that is 19.5. Then if we just increase each of the step of the graph, the thicker lines, if we just take it as the entries that we are going to be using, 19.5, um, 24.5, 29.5, 34.5, 39.5, Forty-nine dot five, fifty-four dot five, fifty-nine dot five. We notice that in this we are having um, a a spacing of five five units. Was from nineteen dot five to twenty-four dot five is five units. Okay. Now our unit here is here, so we can put our scale that centimeter, which is the space between the thicker lines of the graph, represents um, five years on the class boundary as is. Okay. So if you, are, if you are using that, and then we can go to our vertical axis now, we are through with the horizontal axis, we see that our least value is also 12, and the highest value is 38. We don't also need to start from zero, so I'm going to also notch that. So I'm putting, let's say, an increment of um, 4, 4 units, so 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 plus 4, 24, and we will end at 40. So between 12 and 40, we have all the inputs that we need because we are stopping at 38. So on the vertical axis, we are seeing that 2 centimeters is representing 4 workers, okay? 2 centimeters is representing 4 workers on the number of workers axis, which is the vertical axis. So with this, you cannot go ahead to say we want to plot 
our graph. We want to plot our histogram so that we can estimate the mode from the histogram. Now, for the number of workers, we have 22. Then the class boundary, we have 19.5 to 24.5. So 22 is in between 20 and 24. Then 20.5 to 24.5 is as shown. And we can just draw our bar. Okay. So in the next case, we are having 24 as the number of workers. Then taking the value from 24.5 to 29.5, just as shown. Then the next one, we are having 30. Okay. 30 is here and on like that we can just plot the next the, the, the class boundary for the 30 is 29.5 to 34.5 and then the next entry is for the 38 number of workers and their class boundary is 34.5 to 39.5 the next we have 36 and 39.5 to 44.5 which is as shown then we have 30 and 44.5 to 49.5. We've gotten 30 before. So we just also go there. 30 then between 44.5 to 49.5. Then we are coming down to 18. Okay. 49.5 to 54.5. And then finally to 12. 54.5 to 59.5. So we just need to complete our graph by just joining all the bars and then this when we are true will give us the histogram of the data that we are giving and how do we get the mode from that histogram we look at the highest bar okay then we draw from the two adjoining bars to meet the opposite side of the bar and the point of intersection of um, that joining it will look like x that will be our modal age all right so now we have our histogram already so let's go ahead to see how we can just okay let's label this this is the histogram this is the histogram of the given data okay it's always appropriate to label your graph so now we can look at how to get our model just like i said before we take the um, is bar that's the one here so we join we draw a line from the adjoining bars to the opposite side then we do the same thing here and the point of intersection here we are going to trace down to the class boundary axis that's the horizontal axis and whatever value we have there is going to be our modal edge now we have we have 34.5 to 39.5 and we already know that that's 5 5 units so each is just one unit because we have five division on my graph here so we have 34.5 that 5.5 that 6.5 that 7.5 so this is 38.5 so from the graph as we are requested from the question the modal h okay the modal h is 38 dot five the model age is equal to 38.5 years and that is the solution to our question all right that's all we're going to be having for today is dev Tooth academy and if you have found this video useful go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the notification icon like the videos share with your loved ones share with your friends share with your younger ones share with your relatives and together, let's build academic excellence in students. Until next time, God bless you.